even all this salt can only go so far. Lester. All right, Gabe, thanks. And with 73 million Americans now under some sort of winter weather advisory or warning, let's go back to Boston where we find meteorologist Dylan Dreyer. Dylan, is there any relief in sight here? Sorry to break in here, Lester. Brian Williams here. Hang on just a second. This is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Boy, do I miss that. Lester, two of our four NBC traffic helicopters were hit by enemy ground-to-air snowballs, including the one I was in, forcing us to make an heroic emergency landing right here in Boston Common. It has now been approximately 40 minutes since we crash-landed, but drawing upon my unique set of combat survival skills, I've managed to remain alive by eating my fingers and by drinking my own urine. As each incoming snowball went whizzing by my ear, it immediately brought back flashbacks of that fateful day in Dallas when as a four and a half year old child, I was caught in the crossfire of bullets in Dealey Plaza as I leaped into the back of the presidential limousine and shielded Jackie Kennedy. NBC News President Deborah Turness, who was piloting the chopper I was in, now plans to leave me here for the next six months without pay. She is apparently unaware that the strange powder I poured in her coffee was so strong it would have made even Bill Cosby proud. And it should be kicking in any minute now. Wait for it. Wait for it. suspension looking now, biatch. For all of us here at NBC News, this is Brian Williams. We'll see you all right back here again tomorrow night.